We just made these seaside ocean signs and we'll show you how we did it right now. Ooh, SOS. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? Great, that's what we do here. And this week, we're messing with resin. We haven't really done anything with resin except a tumbler or two, like set one on fire. <laughs> this week, we're gonna make an ocean seaside sign board thing. Ah, we picked up these uh, circles from Lowe's. Tip, get them from Lowe's. Hobby Lobby had a 12 inch for 20 bucks. We got the 18 inch for 12 bucks at Lowe's, literally right or next Home door. Depot. Home Depot has them for the same price, yeah, I think. Home Depot has them. So we're gonna put some sand on here and some colored resin and it's gonna look like an ocean. Like, a, like an ocean. Yep, that's the plan. All right, step one. We're gonna mix the epoxy and our sand. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. And then uh, whatever the sand is gonna be. All right, we'll just share that because we don't have that many cups. So how about we just share it? Yeah, well here, um, I'll make my measurements and then pour it in there with my sand. Okay. There's your gloves, use your gloves. Uh. So we were on vacation last week. So this is our, I guess that was our inspiration for making something that's beach-like and we haven't done much with sand yet. I mean, Whoa. sand, resin, resin, I mean. Resin. <laughs> you know how the sand art is big out Sorry, there. I looked down in there. I was like, look at all that sand. I was distracted. So just pour some in here, you think? Yeah. I guess say fill it halfway. I don't know. Uh. I'll give you some. So we're just gonna mix our epoxy, our clear epoxy with our sand. All right, I think I think that's a good ratio. What do you think? I don't know, I think so. I think I'm gonna add more sand to mine. Of course you are. Overdo it. All right, I'll let you uh, make that mistake. Step two, <laughs> add your first layer of epoxy resin on your board. So we're just gonna add the sand at the bottom. Make it all sanded up, sandy. Like the sandy beach shore. All right, and down we go. And away we go. <clears throat> all right, let's see. We did check for level on our boards and they're pretty much level, so we'll see how that goes. How thin do we make this? I think we gotta make it thinner at the front. Like a beach, so the waves go up on it. Okay, all right. Yeah, looks like we're going to use it all. Step 
Step three. Let's mix our colors, our resin colors. <laughs> yeah. Step four. We're gonna start our pour. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll start with the... Now we gotta mix white, so quit playing around. <laughs> Step five, we're mixing some clear resin and we're gonna add the white to make it look like waves. Then we're gonna use the heat gun. You ready? Yeah. What do you think? Want, want to add some shells? Man, yours looks good. Really? I think yours looks good. Eh, mine didn't come out like I wanted. Yours looks really good though. You want to add some shells? Yeah, let's add some seashells. Seashells, seashells down by the seashore. It's my new song. Now, we did read or watch that it was a good idea to cover them in resin first. I'm just gonna cover mine in resin. I'm just gonna dip mine in resin. Boop. Oh. All right, I think I'm done. All right, oh, you're st strategically placed seashells. <laughs> Okay, so now what do we do? Just leave it set. Now we let it dry. Was it how many hours? Three? Four to eight and you could recoat. Huh. We'll be back in four and see how it goes. Tomorrow. All right, we're back. We let it dry overnight. Nice and hard. It looks great. Pretty stuck to all the stuff. So we're gonna get it off of here. That's what I've got so far. All right, but we're gonna add a decal on it because we got a little bubble. I got a little bubble in mine, so I'm gonna put a decal on it to uh, cover up the bubble. Oh, I got two bubbles in mine. And I have one tiny bubble in mine. Well, one's like an inverted bubble. One's like a hole. <laughs> mine's definitely a little tiny bubble, but that's okay. We're gonna add a decal and hopefully hide it. All right, all done. Got my cake by the ocean. <laughs> Garrett picked out cake by the ocean. It's very, it's very oceany. I made mine a welcome sign, a little welcome to the beach. And it's pointing to my cake by the ocean. We know what's up. <laughs> so let me tell you what I learned in this project. Yeah. It's a little more translucent than I thought it would be. I didn't realize we needed more pigment so next time, 
I'm not even gonna be scared. I'm just gonna be putting the pigment in there. I got a fever. <laughs> and the only cure is more pigment. The sand worked out perfectly. Yeah. So we mixed it with the resin and you can see that the clear kind of went over the sand a little bit. I'll show you guys some close-ups. The shells, it's amazing. The shells have stuck in there perfectly. Like they're not going anywhere. Yeah, so yeah. that's good to know. We can do something cool with that later, I think. I think you can get really creative with this stuff. Yeah. I love it. I can't wait to do more with it. So good job. Good job. Let's find a place to hang them. If you like today's project, go ahead and leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you liked about it. Tell us what we did wrong. Tell us what we could have done better. Also give us a like. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And <laughs> until next week, maybe you check something out over here, like one of our past jams. And uh, let us know what you think on that one. We'll see you guys next week.